No, I'm uh, Austrian and um, Austria is, or Vienna is 400 kilometers away from the Ukraine border and who would have thought it uh, that it is possible to have a war in Europe and Formula One and sports generally appears so minuscule in that context. So uh, we have decided to not, to not race in, in Russia and I think Formula One has given a robust statement um, that relation aligned with, with the many other industries in the world. Um, I'm in two minds because um, for Nikita himself, he's a, he's a guy that uh, that merits to be in, in Formula One, he can drive. And you can see some of the sports leagues have decided to allow Russian athletes to compete and others have been, have been stronger in denying them access. And I think as an athlete himself, uh, it's difficult, uh, but I think in, in a way to support the robust sanctions that have been implemented, you can understand why, why it could go either direction. What are the kind of reverberations? I mean, you, are from you're from a diverse family right i think you're uh one of your parents was from poland the other from romania you grew up in vienna kind of the heart of it all there um and your team must be also incredibly diverse internationally um how does this affect obviously the viewership is very global of formula one how does this affect the sport uh I think this is the overwhelming, the overwhelming topic um, today, and I think it allows us to reflect on all the little, you know, annoyances that we have in the sport. That there is just so much more important um, than this, and you can see uh, Europeans. We are we are right in there, and we have um, Ukrainians and we have Russians on the team, and um, certainly not easy for all the individuals that have families there also. So uh, it's been it's been tough times, or it is tough times, and. Uh, uh, certainly, from a personal perspective, as having grown in Vienna with uh, with parents that that come from a Slavic background, it's it, it's very close to my heart what's happening.